Hello everyone. Welcome to the lecture series on renewable energy engineering. I am Milit Assistant Professor in Mechanical Engineering Department at LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. We are studying the biomass energy and in this session we will study about biogas plants. So now let us start our journey for the study of biogas plants. As you see uh, here in this diagram, biogas plant is a set of equipment and arrangements to produce methane gas or the methane gas group and good quality fertilizer through which through the anaerobic digestion process. Now you have already studied about aerobic digestion and anaerobic digestion. Okay. Now as we know in these plants the organic matters are used as a source of energy. Now I think you know the uh, name of organic matters. You know what the organic matters are. Okay. Now these plants are very useful in rural areas and its economy is very much benefited by the same. Okay. Now, government of India is putting efforts to set up more and more biogas plants in rural areas. Now, why is this select the rural areas? Because in the rural area, there is land available, there are organic matters very well available, so it is easy to make plants in the rural areas. And the one, another thing is, in the rural area, there is the requirement of gas as well as electricity. So it is unemployed. Okay, now let us further study about biogas plants consist of two components. One name is digestion means fermentation type and second one is a gas holder. It means the digester is a cylindrical waterproof container with an inlet into with the fermentable mixture biomass is introduced. Okay, in the form of liquid or slurry we have to say. Now the gas holder is normally an air proof steel or plastic container floating like a ball on the fermentation tank. Okay, It cuts off air to the digester and collect the gas generated. The digester also provided with an overflow pipe to the lead sludge into the drainage pit. Okay, Now let us have some basic classification of biogas plant. They are basically classified in two parts. One is floating type gas holder and second one is fixed gas holder. Now it is it was uh, just basic two types. Now here we have different types and let us have the general classification of biogas plant. So first one is according to method of holding. Okay, so it is uh, we have to say continuous feeding system and batch system. Now next is the according to the design of gas holder. So it is floating and fixed one. Next one is according to the size of a digester. It means family size, institutional size and company size. And next is the according to the type of the biomass used. It means municipal waste, over gas or human waste. Okay. Now, let us have following some more popular methods or models of the biomass plants. So, popular models are like KVIC model developed by Khadi and Village Industries and we have already studied about KVIC model since our childhood. Now next one is Janta model which is also very very popular. Next is Ganesh model for the biogas, then fixed dome biogas plant, then Rulakshmi model, then Nirbandhu model and Chinese model of biogas plant. Okay. Now as you see all these are followed by the basic working principle and construction details. Okay. Now biogas plant is working on the principle of anaerobic digestion. You know what the anaerobic digestion is? In the anaerobic digestion it is a series of process in which microorganisms break down in biodegradable material in the absence of oxygen. 
okay now you know all the materials like cow dung municipal waste human waste etc this process it takes place at the environmental temperature and pressure we do not require very much higher atmospheric pressure or uh, higher temperature methane and ethane group of combustible gases are produced which can be used as a fuel okay so uh, which kind of gases are produced methane and ethane kind of gases are produced with the anaerobic digestion process okay now why sludge of the organic matter is used in the fertilizer in the farms obviously if we see the construction of the biogas plant is has it has five components like inlet tank then digester then outlet tank gas distribution system etc okay now if we uh, if we want to understand what the whole process is the charging tank is kept for feeding the biomass such as organic matter charging tank it means we need to charge it okay and we charge it with the biomass now mixture of the biomass is prepared with water and uh, make makes like a slurry kind of thing okay so it is properly flows by the gravity and feed into the tank so this tank should be at the downward side a filter is also provided to the inlet so that other unwanted material do not enter into the digester filter should be there now the digester is a cylindrical and air tight well tight container so first one is the inlet tank or charging tank it is connected with the digester and it is the tight well tight container made from steel tank or brick work structure okay it must be leak proof so that gas is not leaked out the size of the digester depend upon the capacity of the plant so which is the capacity we are we using for family or the industry or any company so we have to make it by leak like this the slurry from the biogas plant comes out through the outlet tank from where it is removed manually it is a very good for the fertilizer and can be used in the farms the gas distribution system now we have to consider the gas collector okay which is known as gas distribution system it is made of galvanized iron pipe fittings valve uh, with the flexible pipes etc okay it is uh, connected to the digester the gas generated in the digester passes through the gas distribution system from where it is distributed to the where to where it is consumed now so these all are the basic construction and parts of biogas plants all these are very much required but yes the shape and the position may change accordingly in the basis of the design now let us have the performance of biogas plants how they perform and what is the main performance goal so the biomass is in the form of the slurry in the digester digested in the in the digester okay now during the process of the digestion ethane and methane group of gases are generated and taken out of the biogas plant through the pipeline as you see the diagram now the remaining slurry which is not be able to produce gas any more is a best product of the biogas plant right now but it is also very much useful product for the plant it is rich in the nitrogen okay so it is a nitrogen rich manure we can say this it is used in the farms and gives better yield crops specific gravity of input biomass slurry and output slurry are almost same performance of the biogas plant is based on input and output slurry values and how much gas is generated right okay so this is the biogas plant basic performance now let us check the advantages of the biogas plant as biogas plant consumes cow dung night soil human excrete and other organic matter the surrounding surrounding become healthy and clean 
the atmosphere become more hygienic and free from everything now bacteria and pungent smell is less the next it generates biogas which is used as fuel for running the engine and farm machineries next one is biogas is used in cooking fuel in the village hence the process of deforestation is discouraged and reduced by the villagers next one if we consider it is uh, it is as a cooking fuel and is clean and also the smokeless it is like lpg gas and can be conveniently used in modern gas stove now biogas plants are very simple not very much costly and they do not require any modern and expensive technology it is very convenient for the farmers who normally own two or four members of cattle sufficient biogas can be available freely from the cattle to produce enough biogas for cooking needs generally for their family so for family purpose it is very good now biogas plants does not require much maintenance and work efficiently in all seasons now let us have the uses of the biogas plant slurry as we know slurry is very much rich in nitrogen it obtains from the biogas plant it is very fertile and increase the crop production bacteria present in the slurry absorb the nitrogen from the atmosphere and which is help in the process of digestion of the biomass now the slurry it has been dried is used to make compost manure okay now biogas slurry can be used to obtain nutrients like vitamin b complex vitamin b12 in the pharmaceutical industry output slurry is used in the farms and gives clean crop without any growth of unwanted sproutings it is used as a catalytic agent in the newly structured biogas plant to initiate the process of anaerobic digestion now let us check further more about factors affecting production of biogas so which kind of factors are affecting the biogas production of biomass and water in the input slurry second rate of feeding of biomass third design and construction of biogas plant along with the toilets fourth seeding fifth proposal of carbon and nitrogen in the biomass sixth size of the digester seven average temperature eight pressure of the gas nine ph value of the biomass 10 nutrients 11 agitation of biomass slurry and 12 that is toxicity so here you have to understand that the process the in the uh, biogas digestion system it is just the anaerobic process it means it is done without the air or without the sunlight whatever the slurry we are adding we open the digester and it is added inside but inside the surface is black and out so without the use of the oxygen they are generating the bacteria which bacteria can generate the methane and ethane gas and this methane and ethane gas is connected or stored in the tank gas tank and it is supplied to the kitchen and we can use it well it is nearly like the lpg we can use it but what is required we have to have that much size of plant okay so we have to design it very properly to gain the proper amount of gas as well as fertilizer so thank you all of you for watching this video if you have any query you can contact